Hey everybody, Craig Muller here behind the scenes at 13 News Now with a look at the tropics and our update. So let's take a closer look. I'll bring my camera in so you can see this. Our hurricane names list, we've gotten through Hannah. The next name system will be Isa Eas. And we're looking at what is now potential tropical cyclone number nine. It is past the Leeward Islands and it is now in the Eastern Caribbean. It is forecast with the 8 a.m. update to continue moving off to the west-northwest, eventually passing just south of Puerto Rico across Hispaniola and making a run towards Florida's Gulf Coast. So we're going to be watching this carefully. You can see with the radar out of Puerto Rico how the heavy rains working across the Leeward Islands and pushing up through the U.S. Virgin Islands, starting to see some wet weather there. Keep in mind, Puerto Rico's been hit so hard in the past with tropical systems. This is an area that's very vulnerable to wind and rain and some of the flooding issues that sometimes accompany these uh, tropical systems. There are tropical storm warnings up for Puerto Rico and for the Dominican Republic. So we're going to continue to watch that. Into the southern Bahamas, we have uh, some tropical storm watches posted. We're going to continue to watch that very, very carefully. Now, as far as the wind field goes, 40 mile per hour winds very likely across Puerto Rico. You see these areas, 80, 90, even 100% chances for tropical storm force winds as this system moves by. So a serious situation, also heavy rain, especially on the western or the eastern side rather of Puerto Rico and down to the south as well. This is where we could see easily six or more inches of rain and you always have to worry about the flash flooding in that situation. As far as the system goes, I want to talk to you about the bigger picture here. This is the European model. Notice how it brings that moisture up into Florida and then kind of rotate some of that moisture back across the mid-Atlantic into the middle part of next week. So there is a potential for some leftover rain reaching our area. Of course, if the track changes, the forecast will change as well. So keep it tuned to 13 News Now and 13newsnow.com for more updates, and we'll keep you updated.